We have our basic VPN configuration set up, and this would be typical for um, most deployments. Uh, again, you can customize as you, as you see fit. Now I want to show you what the load balancing configuration, or what's sometimes called VPN clustering, looks like, and just how easy this is to configure on the ASA. So we come down to this load balancing uh, tab here, and we turn on participate in load balancing. We give it our cluster IP, and this is a unique IP address uh, on the outside interface that uh, all of the uh, cluster members will share. So it's a virtual IP or VIP. And uh, we do that for both uh, IPv4 and v6. I'm going to copy paste that v6 address because it's a bit too long for me to type. Uh, and I like to enable IPsec encryption. Um, this did require us to enable IPv1 on the inside interface, if you recall. And uh, put in our shared secret. And our public interface is outside, private's inside. And our priorities, since this is the third uh, ASA in our cluster, I'm going to give this one a priority three. Uh, it just assumes uh, that this uh, determines um, which device will become the elected master and hand out connections and, and own the VIP. Um, and then another important setting here, this send FQDN to client instead of an IP address. What happens here is when the connections come in to the VIP, this uh, cluster IP address here, and this is the one that you'll have the nice DNS entry for that your clients will connect to, uh, the the VIP or I'm sorry the VPN cluster master uh, will uh, will hand off that connection to one of the cluster members and potentially itself and there's an algorithm determined to uh, to load balance that and if the ASA does need to to redirect the AnyConnect client to one of the other cluster members it will by default redirect the client to an IP address. And when doing so, that AnyConnect client or browser, if it's a clientless connection, will end up getting the certificate from that, that device and validate that that IP address is actually in that certificate. And if it's not, the user will get a browser error. So because I've used a wildcard certificate with my domain, I choose the send FQDN to client instead of address. And that and what that will cause the the uh, cluster master to do a reverse lookup on the IP address that it's redirecting to find out the host name which you need to have a DNS entry for that the uh, ASA can resolve and then give that uh, host name to any connector that remote browser so that the that that wildcard cert will be accepted. So that's our configuration and we click apply and we are done. We have clustering enabled now on this third device and clustering uh, is now configured. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to show you what this looks like from the uh, command line when we actually look at, at how these platforms are doing. So the first view I'm going to show you is from the, the cluster master and I'll do a sh show VPN load balancing. And This is really the only command you need to know here. So we can see we have uh, three peers. The master, which is the one I just VPNed into, and two backup peers. And then if I, uh, I can see the licensing load, there's no connections now. And the license is used by inactive sessions as well. All right, taking a look at the client experience, I'm gonna to connect to the IPv6 uh, load balancer host name. And uh, upon connection, I'll get handed off to uh, either the load balancing master or one of the backup systems or alternate systems and uh, from here I can see any other statistics uh, for this host as well. So uh, traffic statistics and um, which profile I've hit and so on and so on. So all the normal stuff with AnyConnect. Okay, back in our uh, ASDM, I happen to be connected to our uh, load balancer master and I see I have my connection here. Uh, from my client. So if I click details, of course, I can see all my connections. I only have one at the moment. And I can drill down and get details on that connection, all the typical stats and so on you would expect. And looks good there. Back in on the CLI and that load balancer, I can um, do my show VPN load balancing again. And now I see I have a uh, active connection. 
uh, using one of 250 available uh, licenses on this particular virtual machine and uh, the statistics about it as well as the information for the rest of our uh, load balancing peers as well as which one was elected master which we can see here lastly i can look at uh, show vpn session easy for me to say session db and i can uh, filter that for any connect and see my uh, usage there. So that's it. Uh, very easy to configure VPN load balancing on the ASA. Again, in my case, uh, while I'm using three identical ASA V virtual machines, they could be any mix and match of hardware. The load balancing master, whichever one is elected, will handle uh, assigning um, connections to the different devices uh, to spread the load. Um, there's a documented algorithm for how that's done on Cisco.com. Hope this was helpful.